Yes, people, what's happening? Welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. I'm outside Old Trafford. This is the last thing I want to be doing. I'm here with Saeed. Man United have just beaten Chelsea 2-1. It should have probably been 5 or 6. Um, bro, how are you feeling? I mean, obviously, a good win for you boys. Uh, Ten Hag's been coming under some pressure. There have been leaks in the media this week about him losing the dressing room. But I guess that's a big win for you boys. Mate, that, that, that scoreline flattered you a lot, man. We should have battered you, mate. That 2-1... Should have been more, mate. But listen, Chelsea got away with one. But the, the biggest question we have to talk about today, though, is um, has anyone seen Enzo Ed Fernandez? Bro, we can throw Moises Caicedo in there as well. What's up? Amrabat's calling. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's in my back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> okay, say no more. When are you going to release him? Oh, okay. When, when, okay, say. Cool, cool. Yeah. You just let me know that Enzo Fernandez oh, yeah, got. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> right. But listen, man, listen. We dominated the game. You had about a 10 minute spell in the first half. Bro, 10 minutes, that's generous. We're about five. Maybe, yeah, maybe, five. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe the stoppage time, five. Yeah, maybe, maybe five. Maybe five. Time. We, we, Apart we from that, five, mate, we, we absolutely dominated. We had about 30 shots. We peppered your goal. We missed a penalty. You know, I'm trying to say to you, we just pressed the hell out of you. Like, Poch did not have no answer. Uh, for Ten Hag and you know what Ten Hag got the, the tactic spot on he just he just presses from the front Amrabat squeezed everyone up we just literally compressed you a lot into one area that Enzo Fernandes couldn't come out Caicedo every time you had the ball you were so shaky you couldn't play out from the back you couldn't have your rhythm you know Cole Palmer who I thought was your best player for me in my, in my opinion couldn't get into the, to the, to the pockets and whatnot. Sterling was anonymous again you know I'm trying to say to you so for me I can't ask for more. All I can ask for is more goals. That's all I can ask for me. More goals. But, listen, we get the three points and it's still a free, big three points against Chelsea. But you lot are bad, man. Listen, I, I know I can see it's only early on with Poch and it's, it's too early to probably scream Poch out. But, bro, like, you, you didn't really do, like, you didn't really do much, nothing. Like, you had a couple of chances in the second half where I thought, you know, what's his name? The Jackson guy? Bro, I don't know what's, what he's... Brother, what's brother, he, brother, brother, his missus are, are like, like they're, they're, I think there was a header, like, from a corner or something or, like, yeah, or whatever it was. I don't know what it, yeah, it, it, it was bad. Like, mate, we had nothing today. But, I mean, like, just before we get on, before I get your thoughts on Chelsea, mate, like, do you think this win could be a turning point for Ten Hag? I mean, you've got, you got, you got a big week coming up. I mean, Champions League coming up soon against Bayern. Maybe yeah. you might get through that or whatever. You've got, you know, Premier League games coming thick and fast I mean you're not despite all the no, I mean, I've said it a lot this season that United have been terrible but they still find a way to, to grind results out yeah. you're not actually in that bad a position in the table I mean how how much confidence can you take from a win like this problem is it's difficult because you've got to remember how, how bad Chelsea are but that's the problem you know what I mean you've got to, you've got to rela relax a little bit and, and realise we've always been on this little turning point though you know every week's a remontada every week's a turning point you know what I'm trying to say it's true though because we always say oh you know this week is going to be like United are back or just take a game at a time we still know there's massive issues in our team they're not consistent you know they play when they want to not when they have to you know I'm trying to say to you so it, for me United it's very very difficult to kind of judge them they'll always get up for these kind of little games here and there on the Ten Hag at home but it's when you go away from home it's when you have to really put a performance in it's when you have to build a, a set of results and United yes they'll win three and four but then it will be like we'll have a bit of a crisis mode and then it's back again. So I still think there's big issues still there, but we just came to you on a, on a good day where you lot were just shit. You know, let's be honest, like, the, the I can't really overanalyze it. You lot were so bad. You played into my United's hand. You played into the press. You, you didn't really try and do anything in terms of playing out from the back. You didn't go long. You didn't really do much. You know, every time you got the ball, you looked so clueless. You looked so clumsy playing out from the back. You know, decisive was all over the place. I mean, you, you know, you, you, you struggled in 50-50s as well. You know what I mean? The, the tackles were not there. You didn't win any of the kind of lost balls and whatnot. So... I just thought to me, yes, you're right. I just thought for me, like Chelsea just did not battle enough. You know, in these kind of games, you got to show battle. And I felt for me, Chelsea didn't do that. Bro, the midfield battle, I was saying it before the game, it was so key. I mean, yeah, I say yeah. I say Chelsea fans don't realise how good Conor Gallagher's been for you lot this season. Bro, was good. The, the, press, I, the, the pressing from the front, I before. think it would have been, uh, I'm not saying it would have, like, we would have, it, made, it would have made us win the game, but there would have been that urgency from, from him pressing and that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. honestly, I thought we would dominate the midfield today. I've watched you a few times this season. Like, your midfield is very easy to play for. Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot yeah. of teams just play straight through you. And yet, McTominay and Bruno dominated, dominated. Enzo and Caicedo. And Amrabat and 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 in there as well, who's had a difficult start to life difficult here. Start, yeah, yeah. A difficult start. Today, today was like almost like the kind of like, you know what, he's, he's turned up here today. You know what I mean? But I thought for me, 
in terms of in terms of what you call it um, the midfielder well, we, we were excellent but like I said to you I, 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 I feel like Chelsea fans underestimate the importance of Conor Gallagher he presses from the front he's, I'm not saying he's got the most ability in the world yet but for what your system is right now he allows Caicedo and whoever's in the wants to get on the ball do their thing without him he doesn't really lead the press I think Cole Power for me better out wide than he is in central even though he's still got the ability to score and pick up a little bit of pockets but I just thought for me you miss a little bit of bite in that midfield and yeah. listen you've got a lot of players out but still no excuse though to play like that like you did no, today bro, like, you know? that's the thing like everyone's got and just players out yeah you can say that but oh I mean like what we had out on the pitch today like that was good enough that was good enough to at least yeah. do something to, so it's, it's not it's not an excuse like to not turn up and just do the basics mate, yeah, from, yeah, from no, minute no. from minute one mate we were second best in everything everything, every, in everything. Every department. like every de every department and do you know what like i look at it like and I, I i do believe in what we're doing i do accept that you know you can't build a football team like over like in, in in a few months but at the same time when you have results like this and performances like this when the whole team is horrendous everyone is fucking dreadful you you look at it i just sit to myself and i think is this actually going to work? Do, do, have I lost? Am I losing a bit of belief in what we're trying to do right now? I, I don't know. Like this, this is a big unknown. Isn't it? I mean, you look. You mean you look at Chelsea. You've watched us a few times this season. I'm sure. Uh, I mean, how do you see, how you know do you how do you see it where it's at right now? Because I, I, like, I think I don't want to say I'm losing faith in the project because I think that's a little bit premature. But you have results like Newcastle. You have results like this, and I get you're going to have ups and downs with a young team and that, but. Sometimes I just lose a little bit of faith when you yeah, see things like Yeah, I know what you like mean. This. I know what you mean. But that's the whole point with the with the youth project. It's one of them where it's going to be inconsistent. My thing is, yeah, I still think there's a plan there with Poch. I just feel like for me, he needs to be set in the ways that they play. I think it's too inconsistent. One minute it's pragmatic. One minute it's on the front foot. You play possession football. It's too kind of like you know. What I mean, everything just seems a bit a bit erratic in terms of what he's doing today. There wasn't really a clear plan as to what they were doing. You were you were basically playing on our mistakes, and anytime we had a loose ball and. Victor Lindelof was that only kind of weak man. We talk about the team and you lot were so bad. Yes. Yes, yes little man. Big up. And you lot were so bad. So for me, like, I just look at it in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in, in your aspect is that still keep the faith, but also, like, the pressure still has to be on. It's a big club. Chelsea's a big club, man. Listen, I've grew up on Chelsea winning stuff. So that idea of a youth project and just settle for less. Nah, mate. You know what I mean? You, you've got to still be an elite club. Chelsea it still is a big club. But the problem is, though, is that where do you have the expectation now is it a top five is it trying to get you know it's tough man you're not building results you're not you're winning here and there you, it's all well good getting the draws here and there but where you not why are you not building results and that for me is a it's a big issue for Chelsea no, you need to build consistency yeah no, it's, consistency is a key thing like every time you know we, we win and you think oh we're going to go on a run we then turn up and we and we put in an absolute shit yeah. performance like it's just like today was just horrendous like the passing out from the back was awful the amount of times we gave the ball away um, mate, n n nothing was right at all I mean, Poch, yeah, does need to do better. Needs to get more out of these players. The players need to take more accountability for themselves. They were booed when they come over to to applaud to to, to applaud uh, at full time. Un understandable, you know, when you pay money to come up, you travel midweek, it's late game and whatnot, back to London and all that thing. You expect a bit better. Like yeah, it's yeah. not acceptable to turn up and do a performance like that. Everyone to a man, terrible. No. But. I mean, do you, do you like do you, do you worry for Poch at all? Like, I mean, no, I, no, 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 I, no. I don't. I don't. I think, but the problem is, it's, it's Todd Bowley's a madman, so yeah. you don't know what he's ever going to do. But if I was a Chelsea fan, I still keep the faith in Poch because you've got to allow him to build his squad, especially first year. So Poch's second like manager after one year, you know what I mean? Like maybe obviously after eighteen months, two years, he kind of like, oh well, is it working? But right now, still give him the time, but also have that expectation of yo, you 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 kind of must. You know, you kind of need to must in that regard. You need to see, you need to see something. You know, so yeah, mate. And uh, for, for your perspective, I know you were ten arg out yeah, a few weeks ago. Yeah. Is that is that still the case for you? Do you still think there needs to be a change of manager, or do you think if he does get pick up a few wins over this Christmas period, you're not in a bad place in the table? If you could somehow get a result here against Bayern and, and hope there's a draw with Copenhagen, if, if he can get himself through, do, do you? I know it's a lot of ifs, but like right now, you, you this win doesn't really change your mind. No, no, manager, it doesn't really change anything. I think United fans will, will, will not be naive to think that we're back and that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's just be real, man. United are not back, but United are just won a game where we we had to get a convincing performance and that for me was a convincing performance. It's, 
sorry, against a team that was so, so bad. But listen, I'll take nothing away from it. And you know what? We move and we, we build on this. But again, we've seen this we've seen this story before. We never build on it. So I mean, he, he, he did make one big decision tonight, which should have happened a few weeks ago. Rashford dropped yeah, to the bench. I mean, I mean, like, I don't want to give him praise for, for that necessarily. But I mean, is that, is that progress that he's done that? Or is that just like, well, you know, he's, he's caved into the pressure sort no, of thing? He had to do it because Rashford not been performing. So he had to do it. You know, I'm trying to say to yourself, for me, I just feel like the manager needs to stick by his principles. You've got to drop him as well against Bournemouth. You know what I mean? You don't need to change it. Anthony was good today. Let's see him have a run of games now. So let's see how he reacts to that as well in, re in, that, in that regard. But then yeah, Rashford for me, nah, he needs to be dropped and humbled, man. 100% needs to be humbled. Uh, l l last thing, bro. I mean, do you, do you still think Chelsea have got any chance of qualifying Champions League? I've, it's going to be, it's gonna be yeah. tough, isn't it? I mean, do you, where, where, where do you sort of see us finishing, mate? Do you think so, some, form, some form of European football do you think I next season? I break the fifth, but problem is you don't want to get your open league football man I'm sorry it's going to ruin your season again unless you have a squad that can compete but bro you don't want to play your open league football man you don't man. bro we've played your open league twice won it both times you want to win it again Mate, I'll tell you what, I'll take a trophy, any, any trophy right now, any, any trophy, take the conference league, conference the league maybe. The standards at Chelsea, eh? <laughs>